Hello guys, today we'll be covering a 1990 French-Italian fantasy film called Or the Thousand and One Nights. All the relevant links and information for the film will be in the pinned comment below. The movie begins in a 16th century city where a man named Jimmy thinks of himself as the most genius person on the planet. He believes he's the most brilliant guy on the planet and thinks he can replace God. However, an angel observes him and curses him for thinking of himself as a deity as lightning reverberates across the sky. Due to the angel's curse, Jimmy is imprisoned in a lamp. The angel then sends him to the 20th century. The angel also adds that even though this century's people are brilliant, no one believes that they can replace God. In the next scene, we see Jimmy arriving in the 20th century and having no knowledge of its customs. Suddenly, the angel appears and guides him and suggests he go into the world with the help of TV. But he adds a condition that when someone gets his lamp and that person keeps it, only then can he get back to his world. Also, whoever gets his lamp will be his master and he will be his slave and fulfill every wish of his master. Then the angel's voice fades and Jimmy is trapped in the 20th century. After some years have passed in this ancient city, we see a man named Mustafa who's a professional executioner. Mustafa brings both of his children to experience their father's job. Soon he arrives at the palace and must behead someone and informs his children about it. Mustafa tells his children to take a seat. He then tells his children that if anyone misbehaves, he'll eat the entire dinner by himself. Moments later, the palace's warriors bring a young girl. This young lady is the city's queen and her name is Scheherazade. Scheherazade is set to be executed for some crime, but Mustafa's children immediately ask their father about the queen's punishment. The children get obstinate and exclaim, demanding to know about this queen's sins, but a warrior at the palace tells them to stay quiet. Mustafa is aware that his children will only stop crying after listening to the queen's story. As a result, Scheherazade starts narrating her story. We are then taken a few months into the past where we see a king in this ancient city who is very fond of dancing and singing. He's a temperamental fellow, and because of his habit, his vizier Naim is often very upset. The king is also very fond of hunting, but he used to hunt rabbits and not lions. One day, he returns early from his hunt, and as soon as he goes to his queen, he sees that the queen is sleeping with his grand vizier Naim. The king gets very angry and he starts sabotaging in anger. The queen dies by getting buried under the sabotage. In the next scene, the king then orders the execution of his vizier Naim. However, because Naim is a high-ranking executive officer in his council, the king grants him a reprieve and instructs him to find a new queen for him. But if he fails to do so, the king will execute him himself. The next day, Naim goes out looking for a girl to marry the king. As a result, he decides to bring his daughter with him. He wishes to marry his daughter to the king, but she is against this wish. Naim gets upset after his daughter rushes away from him into the crowd. Moments later, Naim's eyes fall on a merchant who's selling slaves. Today, the merchant is selling a beautiful girl which catches his attention. He quickly goes to the merchant and buys the girls from him, after which the girl walks with him. The girl's name is Scheherazade. Naim then takes her with him after promising to marry her to the king. Scheherazade is very happy to hear that because she too used to dream of becoming a queen. That night, Scheherazade is prepared and brought before the king as his daughter. The king is also very surprised to see Scheherazade's innocence and her beauty. He tells Scheherazade that he likes her and wants to marry her. Hearing this, Scheherazade is so happy that she faints and falls to the ground. The king then puts the precious ring on the unconscious Scheherazade's finger as he is madly in love with her. He tries to bring her to her senses, but Scheherazade does not regain consciousness. The next day, the king is very angry at Scheherazade and calls out to Naim. He tells her that Scheherazade is just an ordinary girl who fainted on hearing the concept of marriage. So he orders Naim to put her in jail. Having no options left, Naim must obey the king's command. As a result, he orders the soldiers to apprehend Scheherazade and imprison her. However, Scheherazade threatens Naim that if he imprisons her, she will reveal her secret of being a slave girl to the king. Scheherazade's threat works and Naim takes her out of the palace, hiding her from the king. Then he goes to the merchant and orders him to take her away from the city. Naim wants Scheherazade to go as far as possible because if she's in the hands of the soldiers, then they could know the truth about her. Meanwhile, Scheherazade's eyes fall on a young man and she runs to him. She gives the boy her ring and tells him to buy her by giving it to the merchant. 
The boy obeys her and goes to the merchant and buys Scheherazade from the merchant. Suddenly, the soldiers come there looking for Scheherazade. Seeing the soldiers approaching, she runs away with the boy and comes to a secluded place. The boy turns out to be Aladdin and he is a thief. After a while, both of them feel very hungry and Scheherazade starts looking for something useful in the garbage so that she can buy food. She finds an old lamp, which she picks up and moves towards the market. After a while, she starts rubbing the lamp and cleaning it so it looks clean and she can get more money. Moments later, Jimmy comes out of the lamp, which surprises her. Jimmy tells her that she is his master and that he will fulfill her every wish. On hearing this, Scheherazade immediately asks for a lot of gold and silver, but Jimmy says he cannot fulfill all these wishes as they're beyond his control. He also adds that he can grant her those things that are present back at his home. Hearing this, Scheherazade asks him for food, after which Jimmy returns to the 20th century. He goes to his neighbor's house and asks them for food and takes the same food and gives it to Scheherazade. Later, we see Scheherazade and Aladdin eating 20th century food, and Scheherazade tells Aladdin all about herself and Jimmy. The next day, the soldiers find Scheherazade and they take her to the king. To save Scheherazade, Aladdin quickly rubs the lamp, after which Jimmy appears in front of him. This time, Jimmy has to save Scheherazade, and to do this, he's brought his neighbor's bike. Now Jimmy is riding the bike, and Aladdin is sitting behind him. Jimmy is visible in this city only to those who used the lamp. They quickly drive Scheherazade away and take her away from the soldiers. Aladdin is horrified to see Jimmy and his adventures, after which he decided to part ways with Scheherazade. On the other hand, the king is very angry with his soldiers, as they cannot capture Scheherazade successfully. After a few months, when he could not find Scheherazade anywhere, the king remained sad. During this, Scheherazade has changed her identity multiple times, and now she's seen as a foreigner. One day, a man tells her that the king of the city is very sad because he's not found his queen yet. Hearing the man, Scheherazade goes to the king and asks him the reason for his sadness. The king tells her that because of his anger, he ordered the girl he loved to be sent to jail. But now he's realized his mistake and wants to meet that girl again so that he can apologize to her and marry her. Moments later, the king realizes that the foreigner girl is Scheherazade and she tries to escape from there. Scheherazade rubs the lamp and calls Jimmy. Jimmy arrives there, this time by plane. Scheherazade boards the plane and they fly away from there. After flying for a while, Jimmy goes back to the lamp. Scheherazade then jumps off the plane and falls into the lap of a soldier named Sinbad. Later, Sinbad suggests that she can make money by dancing at a neighborhood bar. One night, one of the soldiers recognizes Scheherazade when she's dancing at the bar. The soldiers then attempt to apprehend her. Scheherazade, together with Sinbad, sails away from that place in a boat. The next morning, Sinbad and Scheherazade are sailing in the midst of nowhere in the sea. When their boat cracks a hole and water fills the boat, they fight to sail. Scheherazade rubs the lamp and after a while, Jimmy appears to save them. Jimmy then transports them to his 20th century home. There, Jimmy shows them some old TV shows about space and astronauts from the 20th century. Later, when Jimmy notices that his lamp is about to fall into the sea, he drags them back to the damaged boat. Back at sea, there's a heavy rainstorm, and they're struggling to remain calm amid strong ocean waves. Sinbad then plunges into the sea and vanishes, leaving Scheherazade alone. The next day, Scheherazade is rescued by a boat that's cruising close by. The boat leaves her directly on the city's coast where she sees the king. Scheherazade attempts to meet the king. Fortunately, she succeeds in doing so, and the king agrees to let her stay. The following morning, Scheherazade reveals that she's the girl whom he wants to marry so desperately all along. The king is overjoyed to have Scheherazade back again. That night, she tells the king all about Jimmy, but she's unaware that Naeem is keeping an eye on her. After a few days, the king started fulfilling his passion for dancing. He's so fond of dancing that he wants to show his dance to more and more people along with Scheherazade. They organize a fair and the king dances in front of the people which creates a joyous environment. Meanwhile, Scheherazade takes Jimmy's help to surprise people with fake magic tricks. Later, Scheherazade, with the help of Jimmy, makes the king vanish while he's dancing. However, Scheherazade discovers that Naeem has taken the lamp and she's unable to bring back the king without the assistance of the lamp. Suddenly, Naeem accuses Scheherazade of being a vile witch who killed their king. A large number of soldiers capture Scheherazade after she's accused of assassinating their king. The next morning, we see Naeem is about to rub the lamp. Suddenly, something happens to his horse and the lamp falls from his hand and into the sea. He's heartbroken after losing the lamp 
and he silently departs. On the other hand, the king is seen sitting in Jimmy's house in the 20th century. Both of them are waiting for Scheherazade to rub the lamp and call Jimmy, but Scheherazade has neither luck nor lamp in her hand. She's currently imprisoned in a wooden box. Meanwhile, a fish eats the lamp that's floating in the sea. The fish is then caught in a human trap. While they look inside the fish, they find the old lamp. They toss away this old lamp because it's not useful to them. The lamp is then picked up by a bird. The birds rub the lamp by accident in an attempt to consume it. When the lamp is rubbed, Jimmy is sent back to the 16th century, where he swiftly locates Scheherazade and approaches her. Scheherazade then informs Jimmy that her head would be chopped off the next morning. The scene now shifts to the present day where Scheherazade is about to be beheaded. Meanwhile, Jimmy arranges a helicopter and the king is also with him. Jimmy then lowers the helicopter to the ground and at his behest, picks up the king's carpet. Next, we see Scheherazade is about to be beheaded, but her eyes suddenly fall on the king who's flying in the air sitting on the carpet. Jimmy and his helicopter were not visible to anyone at this time. Everyone felt that the king was flying in the air sitting on the magic carpet. The king then orders his soldiers to capture Naeem and announces the release of Scheherazade. In the final scene of the movie, Jimmy is also freed from the curse and he too has returned to his timeline, the 16th century. He realizes that only God could create love between a king and a slave 